Hi there, water signs. Thank you for tuning in to A Libra's Way. This is your August 2023. So your mini tarot scope, like five minute messages, forecast to see what's coming in for you. Um, so if this feels relevant or resonates, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, it helps my channel out tremendously. I appreciate everybody who shows up. And um, yeah, without further ado, let's get going and see what is coming in. Okay. This is for, we're going to do Pisces, Cancer, and then Scorpio. So, Cancer, or why did I say that? Pisces. world saturnian lessons the hanged man justice a stalemate so for pisces specifically sun or moon or rising i'm seeing with saturnian lessons this is the regulator there's something about a completion of responsibilities i've been getting this a little bit there's like an end of a cycle coming up with career or something about like responsibilities. So if you have a job that you're doing now, you might be changing that job. The regulator wants to come in and adjust or help you adjust your career path, wants to help you adjust your life. We have Libra here, justice, with Neptune, ruler of enlightenment, the hanged man, maybe more info needed, and the mask, Leo season. So again, August is really important. There's a big end of the cycle of a cycle here. I think it's also just like, if you have been lying to yourself, it's time to stop lying to yourself with the stalemate here. It's like, it's not moving forward because it's not really supposed to. Mm. Let's see what else. Okay. Unlikely. So if you've been hoping for something or someone to come back, there's no, there's unlikely, there's compromise. This feels like a person. If you're dealing with an air sign, maybe a king of air, meaning king of swords, with the disguise, the mask concealed, no. This feels like you're cutting something off relationship-wise or business-wise. It's unlikely. But that's what's coming out. Seriously, like it's up to you with the free will. It just feels like, yeah, it's time to like move on. This person still could be watching you, but it feels like there's not much to say. I think that like, it's just over, you know? With the community here and with new beginnings and transformation, I feel like this is the death of an old cycle significant new cycle wants to come out I did see the new moon come out which is opportunity which is also like taking risks so for some for some Pisces with new beginnings transformation community this feels like maybe you're going to build or establish a new community amongst your friends new beginnings transformation um yeah, it feels really relevant. It feels like, but I just, I don't like this red here. It's like bleeding something out. So it's time to let go, Pisces. If you needed to let go of a situation or something, I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of August or early September, you truly let it go. That keeps coming up in the cards and all of the cards. It's like leaving a job, leaving something that's just like, of course, we always say that if it doesn't serve you, leave it behind. But I'm feeling real cuts, like real ties. It's not just like, oh, I'm just saying it because like 
spiritually, that's what everybody says, but it feels like the end of August, like by Labor Day weekend, you're going to know what you need to do in your life or what you, where you stand or something, you know, and that's what it feels like. Okay, let's move on to Cancer. Cancer, August 2023, what's coming in? Stallion, breaking free, wild, tame. Within the next seven days, so the first week of August, you could see something happen. Um, there could be a sign through crows. A new event or happening is also here with the crows. So definitely a new event that happens. It feels first seven days of August, something gets announced. It could also be by a Leo, by, I'm hearing like by a female presence. You're, a female could announce something. A Taurus is here, which is also, it's all about stabilizing. This can include stabilizing your finances. With the owl, a sees through the facade, secrets lifted, insights wise, aware. Someone's leveling up. This week, it's like really about leveling up. Yeah, I keep seeing the first seven days of August. Something for cancer happens during the first seven days of August. Let's see if we can get a little bit more information. There are a lot of people involved, so it feels like whatever you're doing, there are a lot of people that are influencing you or influencing the situation, helpful people. So it feels like if things haven't taken a turn for the better, they will, but not yet. There's something about August, the first week of August, forgiveness, unlikely. See, it's like it's not going to satisfy. Whatever this is, it's not going to satisfy there are people that are trying to help to do all this to make this happen, but it's not getting people where they really want to get or where they really need to be. It feels blocks. I just keep feeling like big blocks. Okay. Yeah, take, it might take until fall fall of 2023 so that puts us at about September 23rd 21st 2nd 3rd by Libra season really um for this thing to get resolved that's what I'm getting yeah it's gonna take a while this it could really take until the end of summer um for this whole thing to come full circle so be cautious of that cancer I do think that there's definitely some movement of some sort happening, but it doesn't feel like you're going to see the movement full, come full circle until August, September, I'm sorry, until September. It feels stagnant. It feels like delayed, just continuously delayed. Um, there are a lot of things going on in this world right now that are delayed that are just like holding everybody back in general. And... You know, you can only hold these things back so long. At some point, at some point, there will be a response. There will be a retaliation. There will be some sort of like a thing that happens to adjust the circumstances. Okay, let's move on to Hi, uh, Scorpio. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising signs. No, let it be. Could take till winter. The compass, true north. Discovery, life path. The magician, airy season. Grasshopper, lily. Yeah, there's abundance. Scorpio, it, I'm seeing winter sun. I almost feel as though it's going to be like crisp winter air with, an, with the sun at its highest point. So whatever that means with the Wheel of Fortune as well here and with the True North Compass, with the Mercury, I just feel like whatever this is that happens, it's going to be very um, delightful. That's what I'm hearing. 
but it starts this Leo season. It really, it takes off and there's a lucky factor to this. With the Wheel of Fortune, this is faded though. So if something is faded, you can't force it. Again, you, you it's just gonna fall into your lap. I said this with Libras. It's simply just gonna easily fall into your lap. It might take a long time to like get there, but when it comes, it could be snail mail. But when it comes, it comes through and it's and it changes everything. Or it's something where it's like you're it's the thing that saves you. It's a thing that like when you hear these stories about like faded events, like things that just happen that don't necessarily make any sense, or how people come together and it doesn't make any sense. It could be literally because it's just part of the life. It's part of what's going to be and what's already been written. Because that's what I keep hearing. It's already been written. Ask for help from others. Within the next few weeks and in the near future. There's something better that comes around and you could recognize it within the next few weeks. Because the, within the next few weeks, whenever they give me a time frame, that's, um, that's always interesting. Let's see. Anything else that we should take for Scorpio during the month of August? Power, relaxation. You know what I'm getting is that you rise into your power or there's some sort of like a powerful event that blesses you. Could also be love because love is here. It could be an unexpected person that you end up with a very like people just don't see it coming. They don't think they don't realize like, oh my God, whoa, like this is who this person is. Or you are like, guess who's coming to dinner? And they're like famous. And everybody's like, oh my God, like, are you dating this person? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, wait, wait, what? How, how did this even happen? Um, it could also be something where it's just like, again, a super powerful figure. I keep getting like the person who comes in is really powerful. And this full moon relaxation, it's like the person comes in, finally you can relax now. One of the big things, like for Scorpio as well, with the blood, it could be you're the, you're the powerful person, but there's something about blessings or this person, this is a power couple, but it feels like people are just relaxed. Like there's no like pressure. Again, it's easy for the situation to just come together. It doesn't feel like, like there's a bunch of stuff clogging the situation. It feels like it's just easy flow, an easy flowing scenario. So if this resonates, this could be your story. I'm not feeling that this happens until like end of August, if it does. But with the blessings and with power, I really think that whatever this is, it's like, this is serious abundance of some sort. Because it's within the next few weeks. It's really in the near future. And like, you could start to see these significant changes happen or occur by end of 2023 okay but it starts now because we have the sun here leo season this is august so for sure there's something about total transformation look at that rebirth cleanse state fundamental changes clearing and purging i wouldn't be surprised if you're just your belief system changes and by the end of the year, you're really like in a different place where you see it, you understand it. And that's like one thing that um, that I just keep getting. You Once you see it, you can't unsee it. Once you experience it, you can't not experience it. Once you get to that point where like you, you're at the right frequency, you're not going to like backtrack because you see the truth for what it is and it's it can be ugly but it, sometimes that's what that's what needs to happen all right guys thank you for tuning in to a libra's way and i will see you in another video happy august y'all bye